we will take item three, uh, and I will let or ask the director to speak to that issue. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. And I simply want to uh, acknowledge the fact that um, there are persons who are here who wish to be heard and the fact that you have uh, chosen to respect their time and move the matters forward in anticipation of the arrival of uh, an additional director is certainly appreciated. Uh, the matter of the board of respect by the
potential safety concerns in schools and other sensitive uses, four, minimize disruption to local businesses, and five, uh, prevent gridlock on service streets. Now, once again, I cite uh, the study uh, done by Metro in June of last year. And so the point is, inclusion of these two design elements is critical uh, to ensure uh, that measure our pro this measure our project is built in a manner that is both responsive to uh, the range of community concerns that have been articulated and does not miss an opportunity to serve some of the uh, important uh, neighborhoods uh, that stand to be benefited by it uh, and can enhance uh, the objectives that we see. So my objective here is to urge support of the motion to amend the Crenshaw LAX uh, transit board project to include the uh, Warner Department, uh, Burnham Station, and the underground segment of the alignment of 48 and to 49 streets as part of the base project. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to look at the record now, uh, Chair, and would uh, uh, urge uh, hearing from those who came to comment on the matter. Thank you very much, Director. And we will take public comment at this time in community. And I have a list of group of folks here. <coughs> First is Jane Westbrooks, representing State, State Senator Curran Price, to be followed by Mike Les Jones. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is James Westbrooks, and I serve as District Director for State Senator Curran Price. And Senator Price wanted me to come here today to express his strong support for Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas' motion regarding the Crenshaw LAX Transit Corridor Project. This project will provide pedestrian safety, decrease traffic congestion, improve travel time, and increase ridership of the, for the community and throughout South Los Angeles. And this proposal has broad-based support, and it is his hope that consensus can be met to bring a metro station to the region in a rail line the low grade segment and which would benefit the greater Los Angeles area. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Michael Jones, to be followed by Reverend William Wayne D. Smart, Jr. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Jones, President and CEO of the Crenshaw Chamber of Commerce. I represent 233 businesses in, on, and along the Crenshaw Corridor. We're excited about the success initially of the LAX line. However, we have two issues that remain in our community. One is we need a station at Lemurk Park. The second is the undergrounding of the train from 48th to 59th Street. We oftentimes talk about the Crenshaw line or the Crenshaw Boulevard being like the Nile River. The Nile River was responsible for culture, commerce, and connectivity. And if you think about Crenshaw, it does the same thing. Uh, Lemurk Park we call the jewel of the Nile because of the development that is scheduled and the things that are beginning to happen there. So we would really like for economic development for, not, uh, for Lemurk Park not to be excluded as far as a station and then also all the businesses along Crenshaw around uh, uh, the, the latter part, 48th to 59th Street, we don't want them to be interrupted. So we support Mark Ridley Thomas's motion and we ask that you approve it. Thank you. Thanks, Reverend Smart, to be followed by Jared Wright. Good afternoon. I'm Reverend William D. Smart, Jr., President of the Board for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and also Pastor of Christ Liberation Ministries. You know, I've lived in a lot of cities in America, and I've been here for 15 years, and one of the things I like about L.A. is that you can basically get around. I have a tap card, and I use it not because of the environmental justice work I do. I use it. And I live about two blocks from Vernon and Crenshaw. And I would think this would be a very positive thing because it helps people. It's a major corridor to the county, as supervisor, the supervisor said. But most importantly, it allows our community to thrive in a very positive way. Yes, during construction, there will be some downtime. But once the construction is made, it will make it more, pros more prosperous because studies do show how stops on various metro lines and bus lines helps to inhibit and create better economics in that area. Not inhibit, but increase better economics. And so we're very supportive of this development and the motion by our supervisor. Thank you. Thank you. 
Gerard Wright to be followed by Leon Jenkins. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. Uh, committee members, I just want to lend my support to the work of station. It's a cultural duo South Los Angeles. It needs to be there, it needs to be present. There's one concern I have with the motion, and that is with the transferring of Measure R funds. This very Metro board has been worked diligently to ensure that there is equity across all the regions and that we do not have a project such as the Purple Line try to steal funds from other Measure R projects. And that stipulation in there is setting the precedent, the very precedent that many board of directors feel you don't want to have take, take place, which is the transferring of one pot of money for another for another. It's creating a separate but equal rule that will jeopardize all our projects. And I think that's something we do not want to go down that road uh, technically and financially because it will go right back to where we were in the mid-90s. So I, I lend my support for Lamar Park Station, but I do question this transfer to Measure R funds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Jenkins to be followed by Jenny Schneider. I hope Schneider's correct. Good afternoon. My name is Leon Jenkins. I'm the president of Los Angeles NAACP. While I am and, and our branch is very supportive of the motion, we just like to indicate to this body, we don't want you to leave it in its form. You have to approve what Mark has done because you've given us line, but you've taken away our business. If we don't have that stop at Newark Park, which is the, the heart of a lot of uh, African American businesses, <coughs> and, and it brings together that community, you're taking away some from us. If you have that line that goes from 48 to 59 above ground, what you do, you can't make left turns, you're going to take away some parking, you're taking away something from us. We love to have the line, but we want you to give us the line and let us keep what we got, as opposed to taking some from us. Thank you. Denny Schneider, followed by Richards. Danny Schneider, Westchester Neighbors Association. Uh, I too am here to praise the idea of undergrounding. We had the problems around Westchester Play Del Rey areas with the airport expansion 25 years ago, and it took us 20 years to recover. We should not have that happen again. Uh, the train is a vital element to go from north to south. The freeways are already clogged. We cannot handle that anymore. We need to extensions down into the South Bay that will generate much more business for all of us. On a separate note, I would urge you also though to take a look at the Westchester station, which is still optional, and it's the, it would be the only other <coughs> optional. We will have the burden of a train going through. We, we need the benefits as well. Thank you. Kimberly Richards to be followed by Ray Jones. Thank you, Madam Chair. Kimberly Richards, speaking as an official of this agency, as a member of one of the member service councils. Because this is outside the scope of my council, I do not feel qualified to speak on the merits of the project itself. However, I must raise a procedural matter. Director Liberty Thomas's motion calls for the redirection of monies, the potential reissuance of a draft EIR EIS, looking into additional funding options, I believe this committee does not have the jurisdiction. This matter should have gone through the Planning and Programming Committee, and I urgently request that this matter be held and taken up by that committee in next month's board cycle. Thank you. Ray Jones, we followed by Damian Goodman. My name is Ray Jones. I'm a Merck Park resident. I also own a business in the Merck Park, Reagan Communications, as Executive Director of Great Big Games for Black Babies, as well as a member of the South LA Executive Directors Forum. We wholeheartedly support Supervisor Mark Billy Thomas's motion. Thank you. Damian Goodman to be followed by G-Y-A-M-F-I. Jumpy? Is that too close? <laughs> <Who's Yeah. telling? laughs> Board members, the stakes for the Crenshaw line are much higher than that's goal. Crenshaw is a name in a community that is known throughout this country from the Appalachian Mountains to the south side of Chicago to the halls of Congress. It is a nationally recognized African-American community, the last remaining black commercial corridor in all of Southern California. 
The impacts of four to five years of disruptive street level construction in the Park Mesa Heights segment, coupled with cut and cover construction from 60th to 67th, will kill the Crenshaw economy. This agency has a choice to make, and it could not be more stark. Will it extend the board tunnel, which currently ends at 48th Street, the entirety of Crenshaw Boulevard, and provide for us the greatest opportunity for economic re revitalization ever provided an African American community in this city? Or will the agency be known as the one that put the nail in the coffin to America's, to, to the second largest city's last African American business community? Choose wisely the country we're watching. Thank you. Uh, you tell me. Can you follow by <coughs> Olympus Jackman Walker? Yes. Good afternoon. It is close, not a jump fee. Thank you very much. I'm an attorney in the community, a resident of the High Park area, a member of the Friends of the FEMA Center, which is a community organization that's existed in the old firehouse near Crenshaw and Swaston for the past 10 years. Uh, have a farmer's market there, have 300 programs that operate there and work with other members in the community. And I cannot add much more to what Mr. Goodman has said so well about the need to protect the community. Uh, the businesses will be closed. They're struggling now. They need to be able to recover. There is no place like Lamert Park in the world. And I'm from the continent of Africa in Ghana that connects African black folks from around the diaspora in the cultural, spiritual, artistic, political, economic way that Lamert Park does. We need a station at Levert Park. We need underground so that we can protect our children and protect our businesses. We wholeheartedly support the supervisor's motion. Thank you. Jacqueline Walker, you're followed by Linda Ricks. Good morning. I'm Jacqueline DuPont Walker, president of the World Economic Development Corporation. We are stakeholder on the Crenshaw Corridor, uh, having constructed recently Rosa Parks Mill 60 units of senior housing. To some residents who are here today because they really want to support the motion of Supervisor Ridley Thomas. I'd like to use three city names uh, Allensworth, Edenville, Rosewood. Cities that are no longer in existence. And a lot of that uh, demise is attributed to a failure of rail system to stop at those communities at a critical point in history. I lift that because the Burden Park is at that critical phase. The Crenshaw card is one of the most heavily traveled corridors. Uh, the city of Los Angeles was able to receive its only Prop 1C application because of the Crenshaw corridor, where Rosa Parks Villa serves as the anchor project. <coughs> We are sad that the rail line is not coming north to Rosa Parks Villas, but we support with the line being on Crenshaw and the ability to access it. Please support Supervisor's motion. Thank you. Linda Ricks, to be followed by Marie Bryant. Good afternoon. My name is Linda Ricks, and I represent Hope High Park Organization for Powership and Powerless. I support this councilman, I mean, the supervisor's position. The rail running at grade will pass by four schools. Uh, if it's a, but at grade, these kids in those schools will be in danger. Underground is the way to go for safety for our children. Thank you. Marie Bryant, to be followed by Rhonda Dean. My name is Marie Bryant. I'm a stakeholder in the Park Mesa Heights community, or Angeles Mesa uh, in particular. I support the supervisor's motion wholeheartedly. Uh, the advantage of having a station at Lamert Park Village will serve as an important cultural and commercial, which serves as an important commercial and cultural center in the area, uh, will prosper from this uh, uh, having a station there. And I know how this will also increase spending and increase more funds coming through uh, to uh, other rail projects because of proper prop R. It will uh, serve the Vision Theater, which is now going through a multi-million dollar renovation. Uh, and also, I support the underground from 48th Street to 59th Street. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Wanda Dean, as you recently did again. And I'm with Park Mesa Heights Community Council.
Council. We support Supervisor Lucas Thomas's motion regarding Crenshaw LAX Transit Park. Thank you. And Andrea Santi? Good morning, Chair and committee members. My name is Andrea Canty, and I am a member of the Dorsey High School Alumni Association, North Area Neighborhood Council um, Education Rep, and um, also um, a community member. And um, I support Mark Ridley Thomas's um, initiative before you today because um, I think that is going to benefit the community in several ways. Number one, it will preserve the Crenshaw community that we have. The Crenshaw community is like the Beverly Hills to African American people. And with the train coming down at grade, that is certainly going to sever that uh, sense of community that we have in that historical preservation that has been built over the years. I think that we deserve to be treated like other communities. You'll have increased ridership with a stop at the Merck Park so that we can easily go there and attend those functions. Initially, um, at Dorsey, on the Expo line, a student died and MTA is being blamed for that. We needed to go underground to support the students at Crenshaw High and also at View Park. Thank, Thank you. you. That concludes the public hearing. That's not true. But I don't have another card. I gave him a bunch of cards. I have cards. These are the cards that I have up here. You have Pitch Simmons name on there? Okay. Is there any other others that we? You had a list on number two, but I think you meant three. Yeah, see that's, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Here's, here's, the, here's the problem. Yes. Uh, as Director Billy Thomas has said, you indicated number two, but the no, item is. No, no, it's three on there. Take a look at it. It's hard to read. Take a look at it. Plan seven. <coughs> Is that three or two, ma'am? Yes, yes, there is no number on here, so. Wait, just argue. Speak, speak, speak. Okay, thank you. My name is Pat Simmons. I'm with the West Down Neighborhood Council, and I'm here representing the Neighborhood Council and their support of Mark Rick and Thomas motion. <coughs> There are two facts of this particular motion that is very interesting to our community. One is safety. We have, have learned a great deal from the Expo line when it passed by a school. It's not running at the present time, but we anticipate a lot of kids be hurt <coughs> and some death as a process of the way this design is constructed. And this line will also pass by two, three schools if it go at grade between 48 and 59. The next area is concerning the historic value of the African American community started with Central Avenue, then we moved to Western. Now we have Crenshaw, and that's the last one that we do have. And without a stop at the Merck, which is at the Vernon Station here, this would wipe out any of our visitation to our historic area in that particular part of Los Angeles. And so we are here to West Avenue Neighborhood Council and support the Bob and Thomas system. Thank you for giving me a chance. Thank you, Mr. Sorry we had a mess a mix up there, but we did get a final resolution. Thank you. All right then. Well, thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam uh, Chair. Uh, we do not want to know if you want to set the Well, I, I would suggest that we uh, pass this to the full board.